Hello everybody, it is your girl Bria Van Kooten and I am back with a new video as you guys can read by the title. I am here for a 2020, yes, the 2020 Grammy Awards nominations predictions video. I am excited. I'm excited. I love the Grammys. It is one of my, it is one of my favorite award shows. I love music, so I love the Grammys. If you did not watch my last year's video, I did one for the 2019 Grammys. So last year what I did, I'm gonna do the same thing. I read through the list, went through the list, read the nominations. I told you guys who I wanted to win, who I think should win, and then I told you guys who I think is going to win because of like the politics and the voting, who I think they're gonna vote for and who I want to win. So we're gonna do it in two separate categories, same thing. I'm gonna go through 10 nominations. We're only gonna go through 10. There are 84 nominations, but we're not gonna go through all 84. This video will be forever. We're gonna go through 10 of them. So yeah, without further ado, if you guys wanna go hear the nominations that I'm gonna talk about, hear my opinion of it all, stay tuned and you already know. Let's get into the video. Hello everybody, it's your girl Bria Van Kooten and I am back with a new video. Alright guys, so if you do not know, the Grammys is Sunday, January 26th, 2020. Yes, next year. And yeah, the Grammy Awards nominations came out about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, around that time. I have been itching to do this video, but I'm here today doing it. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna go through 10 of the nominations, so let's get right into it. Number, 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 what am I talking about? Numero uno, number one, the first nomination I'm gonna go through is best, best music film. So it is the best film in music as, obviously it sounds <laughs> so it's for concert performance films or music documentaries award to the artist video director and video producer so the nominees are homecoming by beyonce remember my name david crosby birth of the cool miles davis shangri-la shangri-la is various artists, is a multitude of artists, and Amina, Tom York. So if you guys know, you guys know who I am, you guys watch me, you know who I'm about to say who I think should win. And it's Beyonce, of course, because <laughs> Homecoming was bomb. Like, it was so, so good. First of all, Coachella was amazing. So Homecoming was, if you did not watch Homecoming, I don't know where you've been at, it's been out for months, so you guys should definitely, if you have Netflix, definitely watch that and definitely download the album and listen to it because it's such an amazing listening experience. Ooh. So, <laughs> it's basically Homecoming is a combination of her Coachella performance with some behind the scenes footage of how she got ready and all of that. So, it's just a great, great experience. I love watching the behind the scenes of how she gets ready for performances because it's so good. And you get to see the hard work she puts in vocals, live vocals, and dancing, and her dieting, and just, uh, behind the scenes. I love behind the scenes footage, so, yeah. You already know who I think, who I want to win, Beyonce. But, the Grammys be playing her and Jay, so I would not be surprised if they do not give it to her because they really be playing my girl they really really be playing her and this is why she will not show up again because they really be playing her so second in line who i think politically wise voting wise who i think they will give it to honestly probably probably david crosby remember my name 
probably David Crosby. Just from looking through all the names, I feel like we're gonna give it to that. Next one, number two, we're gonna get into record of the year. Nominees are Hey Ma, Bon Iver, Bad Guy, Billie Eilish, Seven Rings, Ariana Grande, Hard Place, Her, Talk, Khalid, yeah. Old Town Rose, Lil Old Town Rose, Old Town Road, Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus, Truth Hurts, Lizzo, and Sunflower, Post Malone, and Swaley. This category is really, really hard because Seven Rings is my jam. Like, that's my song. Like, every time I hear that song, you just wanna be like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You like my hair, G thanks. And just like, like that song is just so catchy and so bomb. It just gets you in a good mood. So I like Seven Rings. I like Talk by Khalid. That song is fire. Ooh, Old Town Road. That's my jam too. Oh, Truth Hurts. You could have had a bad bitch. Not the little. Ooh, like. And Sunflower. Ah, oh, that song is so fire. Like when I went to go see the Spider-Man movie, I could not stop listening to that song is so catchy like in the movie it was just so catchy so this category is hard oh say who i first let's say who i think who i want to win yeah let's give it to who i i want to win i feel like i like all of those songs so it's a tie between all of those songs because i've listened to them so many times i've listened to truth hurts over and over i listened to sunflower over and over old tower road i listened to over and over and each of them to me musically is a different thing it's so it all these songs go in so many different directions so it's hard to really like say musical wise who should get it but let's go with who i think the grammy committee is gonna choose politically voting wise they will probably give it to billy eilish bad guy billy eilish would probably get this all right let's move on to number three which is album of the year so you already know what that is album of the year who they feel is the best album of the year everybody has been talking about so yeah let's get into the nominees for album of the year we got i bon iver norman effing rockwell lana del rey when we all fall asleep where do we go billy eilish Thank you, next, Ariana Grande. I used to know her, her. Seven, Lil Nas X, Cause I Love You, Deluxe, Lizzo, and Father of the Bride, Vampire Weekend. So, all right, so let's go with, I'm gonna go with, cause I, when I talk about album of the year, I like to go with which album I've listened to in its entirety which album I've listened to the whole thing. Cause I can't really vote if I didn't listen to the whole album. Cause you remember it's album of the year. So I didn't listen to Bon Iver's album. I didn't listen to Lana Del Rey's album. I did not listen to Billie Eilish's album. Thank You Next I did listen to. And Thank You Next is a really, really good album. So I'm gonna judge from Thank You Next. I love Thank You Next. Like I've listened to Thank You Next so many times on repeat because the songs are just so good. They're so different, but then come together as one at the same time. And then it tells a story because it goes from the next song to the next song. Like all the songs just come together as one. And I love an album that tells a story. So thank you, Next. Um, I used to know her, her. Didn't listen to that whole album. Lil Nas X, didn't listen to that whole album. And Cause I Love You, Lizzo, I definitely listened to that whole album. Uh, another great musically Ooh, musical album. This album is so good. Like, we got a little bit of hip-hop, pop, rap, classical. Like, we have all of those genres in one, and that's why I like Lizzo. I like her music because it's just so many different genres. Sis be up here playing instruments, dancing, singing, rapping. Like, she is that girl. Like, musically, ooh, her music is really, really dope. So... Another bomb album, I love Cause I Love You. Like, that album is so good. And again, you have to listen to it in order because it literally just goes in order. Oh, ooh, I'm just thinking about the track list right now in my head. It's so good. 
And then the last one is Father of the Bride Vampire Weekend, which I did listen to. So out of the two that I said I listened to the whole thing, because I can't choose one. I can't choose one because I'm listening to it like musically. I can't choose one. But if I, I'm going to give it to Lizzo and Ariana Grande, thank you, Ness, because I love you, is a tie for me for these two. But who I think the Grammy committee is going to choose politically, I think they're going to choose... Again, I think they're going to choose Billie Eilish, honestly. And I keep saying Billie Eilish because I feel like right now she's like the artist that they are pushing. They are pushing. You know, there's always that one artist every year that they're pushing to like win everything. Pushing to be like the next amazing artist, the next amazing person in the industry. And I feel like right now... They're really pushing Billie Eilish. Category number four, we're gonna get into Song of the Year. And the uh, nominees are Always Remember Us This Way, Lady Gaga, Bad Guy, Billie Eilish, Bring My Flowers Now, Tanya Tucker, Hard Place, Her, Lover, Taylor Swift, Norman Effin Rockwell, Lana Del Rey, Someone You Love, Louis. Capaldi, yeah, Capaldi, and Truth Hurts, Lizzo. Song of the Year, who I feel like I want to win. Mm, I'm going to give it to Truth Hurts. Truth Hurts. I really like that song. I feel like it's such a woman empowerment woman empowerment album. Like, you could have had a bad bitch, not committal. Help you with your career just a little. You post the homie down, but you're holding me back. And that's the sound of me not calling you back. Why men great till they gotta be great? Like, that song is fire. Um, who I think the Grammy committee is going to choose? Song of the year. I hope they choose Lizzo, because I want my sis to get a Grammy. I really hope. But, in my hearts of hearts, I feel like they're going to choose lover Taylor Swift, because they love Taylor Swift. Like, all these... All these award shows love Taylor Swift. Like, that's their fave. Like, they love her to death. So, I feel like Taylor Swift is going to go home with Song of the Year. So, yeah. Let's move on to number five, which is Best New Artist. And you guys already know what Best New Artist is. The new artist, who they love it right now. We got Black Pumas, Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Maggie Rogers, Rosalia, Tank and the Bangers and Yola. Again, who I want to win, I feel like Lizzo should get it. Honestly, I feel like Lizzo should get it. She puts out bangers and she, ha she has so many banger singles this year. She had Truth Hurts. She had Juice. She had Jerome. Um, oh my God, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Water Me. Oh my gosh. Her, com her song was in the Best Buy commercial. Like, Sis was out here. So I feel like Lizzo should get Best New Artist, honestly. Like, she's had so many banger singles. And once somebody's coming back to back to back with the bangers of singles, they deserve that. Whew. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I want Lizzo to win. But again, I feel like they're going to give Best New Artist to Billie Eilish. Like... <laughs> like I said, I feel like they're pushing her. They are really pushing her. Number six. Category number six. Best pop solo performance. We have Spirit by Beyonce. Bad Guy, Billie Eilish. Seven Rings, Ariana Grande. Truth Hurts, Lizzo. And You Need to Calm Down, Taylor Swift. So we have best pop solo performance. So a when I hear pop, I'm going to have to go for a pop song. Um, I like Spirit by Beyonce. It's one of my favorite songs, but I don't feel like it's a pop song. I do not feel like... I feel like they just threw that song in there. I don't feel like it's a pop song. Seven Rings is definitely a pop song. Truth Hurts is definitely a pop song. It Needs to Come Down is a pop song. I don't feel like Spirit is a pop song. I feel like they just threw that in there just to throw it in there and give Beyonce a nomination. But that's just my opinion. Um, I would love if Beyonce wins, obviously, because <laughs> I think Beyonce is bomb, is bomb AF. And I love Spirit. I think that song is so beautiful. And she sung it so beautifully. But... 
Don't think it's a pop song, so I'm gonna have to go with... Again, a mixture of Truth Hurts and Seven Rings because those two are some catchy ass pop songs. So I feel like those two, hopefully Seven Rings or Truth Hurts win. But again, I'm gonna have to say they might give it to Bad Guy Billie Eilish or You Need to Calm Down Taylor Swift because I just feel like, again, it's always one artist every year that they really just give all their awards to. And I feel like this year is Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift. And especially Billie Eilish because she's the new girl. Category number seven, which is best pop duo group performance. We have Boyfriend, Ariana Grande and Social House, Sucker, the Jonas Brothers, Old Town Road, Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus, Sunflower, Post Malone and Sway Lee, and Senorita, Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. So, there's a lot of songs in here that I like. I like Boyfriend, I like Sucker, Old Town Road, my jam. It's, I like all these songs, honestly. Boyfriend, Sucker, Old Town Road, Sunflower, and Senorita. This is a hard category because I like every single one of these songs. Who I feel like is going to win by the Grammy committee's voting? Ooh, I feel like they're gonna give it to Senorita. Shawn Mendes and Camila, Camila Cabello. I feel like they're gonna give it to them. That song is really catchy, it's a vibe. They perform it every single award show. I bet you they're gonna perform it again at the Grammys. So I feel like they're gonna give it to them. But honestly, any one of these songs could win. Category number eight, let's get into best pop vocal album. We have The Lion King, The Gift, Beyonce. When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, Billie Eilish. Thank You Next, Ariana Grande. Number Six Collaborations Project, Ed Sheeran. Lover, Taylor Swift. All right, so pop vocal album. Again, listening to, because I would have to judge it from the whole album. The only two albums I've listened to in its entirety is The Lion King, The Gift, and Thank You Next, Ariana Grande. So I only could judge between those two. Um... Again, this is hard because both musically, to me, it's two different genres, it's two different listens, it's not the same, it's not similar. So I would have to give both of those a tie because they're really good albums, but musically, it's two different albums to me. Obviously, it's two different genres, two different sounds. Who I feel like they're gonna give it to? Uh, honestly, again, I'm gonna have to say, I hate to say it. <laughs> I hate to, I feel like I've been repeating myself this whole video, but I feel like they're gonna give it to either Billie Eilish or Taylor Swift. I keep saying the same thing. That is how I feel. So yeah, let's move on. Category number nine, best urban contemporary album. And we have Apollo, XXI, Steve Lacey, Cause I Love You, Lizzo, Overload, Georgia Ann, Muldrow, Sadder, Now, and Being Human in Public, Jesse Reyes. Um... Of course, I'm gonna give it to Lizzo because that's probably the only album I've listened to. Definitely the only album I've listened to. I don't know who they're gonna... This category, I'm stumped. I would hope Lizzo would win, but I don't honestly know who they're gonna give it to. Comment below and let me know who you think they're gonna give that one to because I'm stumped on this one. And the last category, category number 10 that we're gonna get into, we're gonna get into the rap. One of the rap categories, which is best rap performance. We have Middle Child, J. Cole, Suge, The Baby, Down Bad, Dreamville, which is J. Cole, if you don't know, Racks in the Middle, Nipsey Hussle, featuring Roddy Rich and Hit Boy, and Clout, Offset, featuring Party B. All right, who I feel, who I wanna win? I feel like, ooh, I'm stumped because Clout I like. That's one of my that's one of my like guilty pleasure songs. I'm like, it's so catchy and so late, and I know all the words. But I would want the baby to win. Shug, you did you couldn't go anywhere without hearing Shug. Right now, you can't go anywhere without hearing the baby. Like his music is playing everywhere. So I would want to give it to the baby, Shug, who I feel like they're gonna give it to. I would want them to give it to the baby because he is technically a new artist in their eyes. So I feel like he should get a Grammy. He deserves a Grammy. He's really everywhere right now. And his songs are really 
bomb. His album, Kurt was Kirk was fire. Um, Baby on Baby was fire. So this category to me again is hard. Because I feel like anybody could win. J. Cole could win. The baby could win. Nipsey and Roddy Rich and Hit Boy could win. Offset and Cardi B could win. This category is very up in the air because I feel like anybody in this category could win and deserves to win. I don't feel like one deserves over the other, but I'm rooting for the baby. <laughs> so yeah, that is all 10 categories. I'm definitely going to list the link in the description box with all 84 categories. So if you guys want to go through all 84, you can on your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know who you feel like is gonna win. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you disagree with me? Comment below, let me know how you feel about it. And subscribe to this channel if you would like. Definitely follow me on my social medias, at Bria Van Kooten. that's my Twitter and my Instagram. I will definitely be back January 26th, 2020, the night of. I'm gonna do a fashion review, of course, I always do a fashion review, so I will be back for that. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace, love.